All right, okay. Okay. Role play. Role play? Yeah, you were Shireen. And that is, I, we're just selecting that name. Shireen. Okay. Shireen. Yeah? <laughs> Who do you think I see outside of this apartment? I didn't pick her up at an opium frolic, <laughs> and she's a normal human being. I think. You know, I hear role play, and I'm like, all right, great. All right, let's okay. role play. Role play. You have to help me in this I situation. I am helping you. I'm, I'm, I'm Shireen. Right. I'm helping you. All right. Okay, for serious this time. For serious. Shireen. Shireen. Oh, sorry. I was just putting lipstick on. <laughs> Why would she apologize? Okay, Shireen. Mm-hmm. I've got this problem. Oh. Um. I have a friend that I'm very close with. Okay. Who because we have our relationship budding. I just want to let you know that my best friend is a woman. Okay. And I may still have feelings for her. Okay. Is that okay with you? Sorry, I dropped my lipstick. <laughs> This is always the thing that drives me bananas. There's never quantitative reasons why you and I stop dating. Just because. Just because. Yeah. That is the biggest reason. It is also the vaguest and the worst. I mean... I should, I should not have brought it up. Well... I'm gonna get some more coffee. People say that in your 20s is when you really get to know who you are. But how am I supposed to know who I am or where I'm going if I don't even know where I came from or who I came from? I guess that's why I picked this job. I don't like to stick around anywhere too long. Kind of like my dad. You know, the only thing I know about him is that he invented the rolling suitcase, which is pretty cool since I use one every day. My dad, well, he died a month ago and nothing really changed. Jake said I should let my feelings out about it. I did, and I didn't have any. Anyways, things are pretty good. I like my job. Have a wonderful flight. Yo, uh, water. Sure, coming right up. Jake and I broke up, but we're still friends, so things are really pretty good. Great even, really, really great. I'm turning up the AC. Ooh. Phil, are you okay? Oh my god, this Chinese ephedrine is making me sweat bullets. Whoa, you are sweating through two layers, I know my it. friend. I brought three shirts on board. This has been a problem recently. Oh my god. But look, I got the muscle tone. Well, you look wow. good. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, yeah, you look good. No, I've lost a shirt size in what? two weeks, so her call lights back on. Again. She wants you. Guess I'll take care of it. Can I help you again? Yeah. Hi, yes. I'm very concerned about the man in the exit row. Um, I don't really think he's up for the job. Up for the job? Yeah, he looks very weak and um, he's also sleeping. He's been sleeping this entire flight. I really think you should consider waking him in case of an emergency, but this is duty. In the case of an emergency, ma'am, I will wake him. 
And as I can tell right now, there is no flight emergency. Did you press the button? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, Lorna, I have it. Thank you. Under control. I believe she pressed it again. Yes, I did. You're not helping you, me. You, you, you um, pressed I'm... it again while I was here? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Just reach out and open the door. That's super hulky. This is, is this a side effect of the medicine? I don't know. Maybe. It says in the bottle that can promote rage. Could be. I have to go see my dad when we get to Chicago and take the old drug out for Father's Day. Oh, well, at least you have a dad, though, right? A gambling addicted alcoholic dad. Yeah. Lucky me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chicago O'Hare International Airport, where the local time is 4.41 p.m. and the temperature is 62 degrees. Hi, how are you? Yes, I'm still carrying it around. Honey. When you do read it, take it with a grain of salt, okay? I don't want you to get false hope about anything he might say in that letter. That means? Your father, he just, he had a complicated relationship with the truth. He liked to skew things in his favor. I don't want him to let you down again. Why do you think he didn't send it? Ugh, who knows? I'm the last person to know what he was thinking or why he'd do anything, even when we were together. So who knows why the hell he wrote a letter and didn't send it, or for that matter, come to visit you in a blue moon. I mean, come on, Jersey isn't that far. You're being so dramatic, Mom. Lorna, you deserved a better dad. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know that I got here safely. I didn't really want to talk about this. Um, I'm going to go watch some TV right now. I'm sorry. I love you. You too. Dear Lorna, I know it's been a long time since we've talked, oh, since, since I've seen you. But the long and short of it is I left and can't change that even if I wanted to. All right, I know it sounds like bullshit, but life isn't so cut and dry. And one day you're gonna figure that out yourself. But I hope it's not for a long, long time. You were a tidy version of me. Never could sit still either. Maybe it's in our genes or something. Believe me, I wanted to stay. But I just wasn't ready for that kind of life. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that's it, thanks. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. So how's Jake? Um, things are about the same. Um, it's better now that we're not dating. Cool. Um, you know, when we were together, he was just always there. What a drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad died about a month ago. What's up with you? <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, Lo. <laughs> uh, whoa. I didn't really know him very well. So. Yeah. But. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting it worse. I mean, I'm not trying to one up you on like bad news. Whoa. Really? Yeah. That's huge. You okay? It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah. Emotions. Yeah. It's all right. Gotta laugh it off, at least. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh. Hey, Mom. I was hoping to catch you. I thought a lot about what you said, but I want to keep Dad's house. For now, at least. And it's closest to Newark. So, 
just want to let you know. Love you. Bye. Jesus, what? What are you doing? Ah! What? what the hell is that? <laughs> Lorna, what? Jake, what are you doing at my apartment? I was taking a shower. Why my place? I'm out of shampoo. Get your pee. All right. Uh, hold on a second. Why did you wait so long to scream? I... I don't know. Do you have any idea what it's like to be your friend? Pretty awesome. It's 100% awesome. It's 100% awesome. But it's also kind of like... It's like there's this mouse. Okay? And this mouse lives in a little mouse house. And she's got a bunch of locks on her front door. And she thinks she's so secure. But what she doesn't know is that her mouse house is actually just a cereal box. And on the outside of that box, there's this morbidly obese third grade child who spends every recess in there just waiting for that mouse to come out so we can pick her up and they can be best friends. But because she's so scared, she never comes out. And there's a version of the story where the mouse and the kid live happily ever after, and there's another one where the mouse just stays. It. No, the, no. With the compass? No, Jesus Christ. That happened in my class. What? Yeah, with the bunny, though. I know. No, I was just going to say that, that the mouse is alone. I was going to say that she got stabbed in, like, the brain stem? I don't know. My mind always goes to, like, the worst case scenario. Jesus Christ. I was trying to tell you a heartwarming story about a mouse that finds a friend. Oh. Are you a serial killer? No, I just like, I'm like, just. I, Holy shit. It happened, it happened. Is the end of this that you were the third grade child? No, God, no. Anyways, I'm All right. tired. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, uh, no, it's OK. You can take the bed. I'm not taking the bed. Are you? We are pals. We decided that we were pals. Are you not going to stay here with me? No, but I don't care. It's fine. I'm going to sleep on the couch. No. I'm not going to make you sleep on the couch. No, seriously, it's fine. I hope you don't plan on staying over here more often. I wouldn't dream of it. Hello? Hi, this is Lee Mulroney, your dad's lawyer. Oh, hi. Sorry again for your loss. It's fine, it's fine. I wanted to talk to you about your dad's beach house. Oh, you know, I said I wanted to sell it, but I actually want to keep it now. I'm thinking of moving in. Oh, shit. You don't know about your dad's debt situation, do you? No. So good to finally meet you in person. Same. So, um, do you need some more time here? No, I'm finished. You know, there really wasn't that much stuff. Oh, thank you for reminding me. There's one other thing. We sold some of the personal assets, and there are a couple more personal items. And this is the last one. I really appreciate that, Lee. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. Sure. 
You know, my I don't really feel like my dad lived here, did he? In this house? Yeah. Uh, not for the last few months. He had a rental in AC. When was the last time you saw him? Um, I was about six years old, I think. Not since then? Oh, yeah, but, you know, I was raised by wolves afterwards, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you were raised by somebody. Got my bare necessities. <laughs> <laughs> that must be the buyers. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> we thought we were Hi. early. No, no, right on Just... time. Wait, so is this the amount that I'm getting? Yeah. I'll show you. $147,000 in sales, then the fees, and of course the the debts of the estate that we have to pay. Okay. And then you net what's left over. I didn't expect there to be that min that much debt. There's That's a lot of debt to have. Well, you know, Roger ran up quite a gambling debt. Casinos are pretty unforgiving. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it more than I did. Oh, thank you. Oh, so excited. <laughs> we will. Really? Will we? <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you again. We did it. if you know who the little guy is. Little guy? What little guy? In the pictures, there's this other little boy, and I don't think he had a brother, so who's the kid? I thought my dad was only child, so I don't know who, who, the, little, who the little boy is. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about a brother. I just, I wonder who he is then, because there's just so many photos of him, you know? I don't know. I wish I could tell you more. I just don't know. He never talked about his family, and I never asked him. No, no, it's OK. It's OK. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Local time is 3.42 PM. Do you want to know the truth? Um, let me think. Yeah, I do want to know the truth. Who asked that? Do you? I mean, why do you have to act so mysterious about it? Because he did have a younger brother. Lorna? Lorna. Hi, why don't you come on in? No, I don't want to come in. I can't believe you didn't tell me. OK, Lorna, look, I'm sorry. I asked I... you for stories, and you never happened to mention that I have an uncle? Look, Lorna, do you remember when Grandma Evelyn's house almost got burned down by that crackhead? Yeah, what does that have to do with... You're kidding me. Well, that is your uncle. I mean, the story is he tried to burn it down to get the insurance money because... Well, apparently the rumor is he was addicted to drugs. I'm, I'm confused. Is he... Like, where was... Did he, did he come to the funeral? I mean, like, what? No one ever thought to tell me that I had another relative? It's just another thing about your dad that could hurt you. I'm sorry. 
I didn't want to tell you if I didn't have to. You know, I'm going to go try to find him, because maybe he'll have something better to tell me about my dad than just, I'm sorry. Oh, now look, Lorna, look, that is a really bad idea. Please don't do that. What's his name? Chuck. I think it's Chuck. Chuck Flynn. Sweetie, I really wish you wouldn't do this. I. Please be careful. for Chuck Flynn. Is he in? Do you know when he might be back? Hi, this is weird, but I um, think you might be my uncle. Hi, does Chuck Flynn live there? Oh, I'm, I might be his niece. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> I found your number on an ancestor site. Hello? Hello? Hola? Hi! Um... My name's Lorna Flynn. I wanted to know if uh, Chuck Flynn was in. I, I think we might be related. Hello? Hello? Hi, I'm looking for uh, Chuck Flynn. He was born in southern New Jersey around 1963. No, no, a person. A, a person named Chuck Flynn. What's a Chuck Flynn? Oh, I think he might be my uncle. <laughs> Hi, yeah, so I was just saying thank you for calling me back. Oh, I found your number on a um, Find Your Ancestors site. Is Mr. Flynn in? No, I'm not a telemarketer. Oh, this one's close. I'm gonna go meet my uncle. You have an uncle? I might have an uncle. You might have an uncle? Yes. 208 Twin C Street. Do you wanna come? All right, hop along, Cassidy. I might meet, meet my uncle. I'm excited <laughs> about it, okay? Might, might, might. There's 12 people on the list. That's that's half Russian roulette odds. That's a very morbid metaphor. I'm sorry. Here you go. You're on a mission. Oh. This is it. There she is. Should I go up? I mean, we didn't come out to bed for nothing. OK. All right, go trick or treat. Whoa. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I, I... I thought you were the bodega delivering them. Oh, no. I'm, I'm Lorna. I'm looking for Chuck Flynn. Are you Mrs. Flynn? Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, god. Is this some no. kind of a joke? Not at some all. Some kind of a sick joke? Did Harriet send you? Yep. Did she? No. All right, let's no. go. Who Sorry. sent you? Oh, because he's dead. All right, we're going to go now. Are you happy now? Right. He's dead. What are you looking at? How about that? Oh. How's that for hot lunch? <laughs> who is Harriet? I literally want to know who is Harriet. She she thought a woman named Harriet. Harriet sent me. Did Harriet send you? Did Harriet send you? That means like, well, it's already crazy what she thought. But Either her like... or Harriet has a lot of money. Are you all right? Are you? I don't know. I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> are you bleeding? Let me see. Let me see. I'll kiss it. Let me kiss it. I'm, I'm afraid. I'll make the swelling okay. better. It's a terrible scar. This is going to leave a terrible mark. Uh, that's good. You look <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Oh my we God. all say. I feel like you're going to have to collapse. I'm moment. never about to collapse. I like this forever. You want to stop? Am I going to make you bark? Yeah. Here, I can get you off of this thing without you ever. Here, spin all the way around. There you go. Uh, it'll be $600. Oh, oh. my God. Oh my God. Did you just? No. 
Yes, you did. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and see you tomorrow. <laughs> My Chuck is your uncle. Who? Chuck Flynn? Is he I live know here? Anyone by that name? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm sorry to bother you. That's fine. Oh, okay. I'm okay. just gonna go back out. Sorry, this is weird. Hi. Hi. How are you? Can I help you? Are you Chuck? Yes, I am. <sighs> That's so cool that you're a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Are you sick? No. Uh, no, I am. Um, I'm Lorna. Lorna Flynn. Yes. I think we might be related. I think you're my uncle. I don't have any living relatives. Oh. It's, uh, I'm sorry, are you sure you have the right address? I think so. Yep, I do. All right. And the right town? I, <laughs> I think so. I think <laughs> I have the right town, too. All good uh, questions. Well, I wish you were my niece, and I wish <laughs> I could help you. Thank you so much. But thank All you. Right, have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Hi, Chuck. Thanks for calling me back. Yeah, I know where that is. No, I don't mind waiting. a funny thing. All of a sudden, you look back and wonder where it went. He was such a funny kid, though. I remember when you were four, I taught you to say, this town stinks like a whorehouse at low tide. That's a line from a movie. You'd say it whenever you didn't like your food or pretty much whenever you were pissed. Then you'd leave in a huff. Your mom hated it. You killed it every time. Gosh, we uh, had a lot of fun back then together, didn't we? I bet you think we have nothing in common. Well, I know you're a stewardess. And that must keep you moving around pretty good, too. You okay? It's like at some point I'm like thinking about whether or not this is even worth doing, you know? Well, I mean, I can't remember if anything that's difficult is worth doing or anything that's worth doing is difficult, but, yeah. you know, if mountain climbing were easy, nobody would do it. It'd just be walking around. You gotta throw some obstacles in your way. 
And yeah, it's not like it hasn't been entertaining. <laughs> well, I mean, but it's, it's not really the point, is it? No. I don't think it's really important for you to even know why. I think it's an okay thing to just do. Hey. <laughs> like as a kid, you know, you just are always giving people the benefit of the doubt, right? Sure. You don't know any better. You're like, oh, they, they wouldn't have meant to miss my... I think one of the things that's also good about being a kid is that your parents aren't people at that point. Right. They're kind of either superheroes or supervillains. And when you grow up, you realize, oh, <laughs> that's all the same thing. Yeah. And that's OK. Yeah, he was just a person. Yeah. Funny person, though. <laughs> Do you like my? Morning look. It's an honest look. Yeah. That's a good Thanks. one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, friend. Can I ask you a quick question? <laughs> Do I look like a total asshole with this sweater on my shoulders? <laughs> yes. Hi, is this Chuck? Yes, I'm... No, no, I'm not a telemarketer. Chuck? Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry to bother you. Hi, my name's Lorna Flynn. I'm calling for Chuck? No, no, I'm not selling anything. Please don't hang up. Okay. Hi, is Chuck there? I'm not a telemarketer. You don't happen to have a new number for him, do you? No, I'm not from the bank. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Hi, my name is Lorna Flynn. I'm calling for Chuck, and I'm not selling anything, and I'm not campaigning, and I'm not from the bank. No, please don't hang up. <sighs> Shoot. Hey Jake, it's me. Um, thanks for cheering me up the other day. Sometimes it's nice when you surprise me at my apartment, but you really need to give me back my keys. Uh, we can't keep doing this, all right? It's weird. We're friends, not together. That's it, so can you leave my keys? I do love you though. Thanks, bye. Thank you very much. So how you doing today? I'm okay. I'm having a hard time trying to find a guy. Oh, yeah? Well, look no further, because last time I checked, I'm a guy. Yeah. His name's Chuck Flynn. Really? Chuck Flynn? I know Chuck Flynn. You know Chuck Flynn? Yeah, yeah. And do you know Chuck Flynn? No, I've never met him. I'm trying to find him. So, so let me just come right out and say it. You don't want to meet Chuck Flynn. Like, if you don't know Chuck Flynn, you're better off. You don't need to meet him. Like, I know him, and I wish that I was in your shoes where I don't know him. Do you even know someone named Chuck Flynn? If I'm laying it all on the table, I've actually, I have no, I don't know anyone named Chuck Flynn. You don't. I don't. But, you, but, but I would be happy to get you another glass of water. I would love, actually, a drink now. I'll have a drink. You'll have a drink? I'll have a drink now. Okay. I'll have a, I'll have a whiskey on the rocks. Do you know which one's whiskey? Because I don't know what any of these you are. You even work here? <laughs> like, I work here, but I mostly clean the place. So, oh like, God. I have never actually poured anything. So this is, like, a, it's a big first for me.
Do you work for Omega? Yes. What airline are you with? Universal Airways. Ah. Solid airline. Thanks. Omega's great, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Red eye for Emily. Sorry. Don't know what I'd do without my jumbo red eye. I can't begin a flight without one. How about you? Oh, no, I don't drink coffee. I'm just here for my skinny chai latte. Well, I don't know what I'd do without my rolling suitcase. Yes, thank goodness for the man who invented them. I owe him my life. Well, funny you should mention it. Um, my dad, he invented the rolling suitcase. Your father is Bernard Sado? Roger Flynn. Who's, who's Bernard Sado? Sado? Omega trainee exam, extra credit question number three. By whom and when was the rolling luggage invented? Answer, Bernard Sado, 1970, reinvented and redesigned in 1987 by Robert Plot. Vanessa, I have your skinny chai latte. Oh, that's me. Enjoy your fly. So maybe that other guy just stole his idea. See, that's the kind of thing I wish I knew. Not just who stole stuff from him, but what was his life like? Did he ever feel at home anywhere either? Maybe I should have it x-rayed, you know? Like one of Picasso's early paintings. Cause it's like, what does that even say? I mean, he crossed it out. Can you see it? I wanna know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it froze. Hello? No, I'm here. I'm, oh, I'm here. Good. I was saying, you know, this letter, I really thought that it would answer more questions, but instead it just makes me wanna know more and like, I'm hoping my uncle, when I find him, he'll help me figure some of this out. Like, look what this says. Maybe it's in our genes or something. Believe me, I wanted to stay, but I just wasn't ready for that kind of life. What kind of life? Like, what does that even mean? I have no idea. You seem kind of distant, Jake. I'm here, but I, I've got to go in a minute. That's all I get. <laughs> do you have some rehearsal or something? You know, I really do want to go to one of your shows one of these days. I mean, pretty soon, I'm going to call you up and it's going to be like, excuse me, Mr. Brawler, he's not available right now. He's too busy being famous. If but... she talked like that, I would fire her immediately. <laughs> yeah, she had a stroke. Yeah. But you had an assistant in this scenario, yeah. so. <laughs> OK. Do you think it's possible that my dad invented the rolling suitcase? I really do have to go. Did you hear me say that? You said I had a minute. I'm, I'm not working. I'm going out with a friend, and I don't want to keep them waiting. You have friends? No. It's only you. Only you. You are my only friend. <laughs> Just a minute. You don't really have to go out. Yeah. And plus, I'm telling you about the letter from my dead dad. It's exciting <sighs> drama here later, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Hi, you're Chuck? I'm Chuck. Oh my gosh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm, you. My name's Lorna. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Hey Chuck, what's going on? Oh, hi, sorry. I'm, I'm Charles. For, somebody's looking for Chuck. Charles, nice to Just meet Chuck. you. Yeah. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm Chuck Flynn. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice wow, to see you. A whole family of Chucks. What can we do for you? Well, I was, um, I was in the area because I've been looking for my uncle, whose name is Chuck Flynn. Huh. Are any of you guys my uncle? Did you lose oh. your uncle? Uh, uh, no, I, haven't, I haven't. Are you her uncle? No, I don't no, think so. Not no. here. We're all Chuck Flynn. Every one of us.
Chuck? Chuck? Chuck Flynn? Yeah, I'm Chuck. I think we might be related. Hi. So, what'd you say your name was? Oh, it's Lorna. Lorna Flynn. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, we might be related. Yeah, I, I, I have an uncle named Chuck. Okay. Do you have a brother named Roger at all? That was my dad's name. I, I don't even know a Roger. Okay. I'm really sorry. I wish I could help. All right, no, no worries. Sorry to bother you. Hey, good luck. Is Chuck Flynn there? No, no, no. Slam, slam, slam. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry, am I talking to myself? I should be alone right now, but I take public transportation. This is super weird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is going on, man? I'm really man? sorry. Our rehearsal space flooded. I, I didn't know you were going to be here. We're just using it as a rehearsal space. I'm really sorry. I need you guys to leave. OK. All right. We can we can clear out. Are you OK? I just I, I need you guys okay. to leave, OK? All right. Okay? Hold on a second. Sorry. Hey, Jeanette. Jeanette, we got to take off. Jeanette? We we got to go. The, my friend came home. She's got to take a nap. I'm really sorry. OK. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Sorry. I'll see you tonight, though, huh? Okay, yeah, I'll see you then. Right. Thanks. So did you meet your uncle? What's... What are you locking the door for? Is everything okay? What's going on? I don't need... I don't want to talk about it. I just... I, I just... I... What were you guys doing in my apartment, man? The rehearsal space flooded. We, yeah, we... why my place? Why not your place? Because your place is two blocks away. I'm sorry. I know that it's weird to come home and have a booty dancer in your living room, but it's not. You're not jealous, are you? Okay, I just like too much talking, you know? Like too much talking. Like I need you to Fuck. get out, okay? I just need you to leave. I just want my own fucking apartment to myself. Sure, I'll let me get my things then. Is that okay? No, I don't want. I want to keep your things, but have you All leave? Right. Like, yeah, take your things. Jesus Christ. There's so much talking. There's, it's not even talking, it's communication. That's how people communicate. That's why they call it that. That's yours. Okay. I can attach to here. How are you? How was your trip? You need to straighten your shit out, dude. I just wanted to know how you were feeling. I'm sorry that I fucked all that up. All right. Um, send me a postcard oh sometime. God. You're acting like I've, no, I- No, like, every time I talk, you freaking come back with a retort. Just leave. I feel bad because I kicked him out because I wanted to be alone, but now I'm feeling like, now I'm feeling a little alone. I know what you mean. It's like, I want him to be there sometimes. I just don't want him to have a key to my apartment. Yeah, totally. Like that's fair, right? Yeah, it's completely fair. You know, a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people would be really happy with Jake and, um, but I, I think sometimes it's unattractive how, how like good he is or how nice he is or how everyone thinks he would be a good boyfriend. I think that sometimes it can be unattractive to me, so. It's, I mean, it's because you're maybe you're not used to it. Definitely, I'm definitely not used to it. <laughs> can I get you ladies another round? Oh, well, that's so nice, wow. thank you. It's not my birthday, but sure we'll have another. You still have to pay for that. 
That's a chivalry's dead, isn't it? <laughs> or maybe he's just not that into it. By it, I mean you. Yet. Here you go. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. It's good. We'll take another round. Delicious. Let's call, ladies. We'll take another round. I'm gonna get another round, but I want one. Are you back on the market? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yes, technically, but emotionally, no. But that's not gonna stop me. That hasn't stopped a lot of people, if that was to be honest. Yep. Yeah. Well, you'll stop me. I really like you. I like you. I love you. I, I love you. I have to go. I can't feel my feet. I, I can't feel my feet. Okay. She has to go. Good night. Oh, put it on her tab. I got this. Them. You're into some freaky shit, aren't you? I have two on my list, and I was, I have to, I think it makes sense to call them. I think it makes total sense. Yeah, do that. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna call my uncle. This is fun, but I'm gonna call my uncle. The fuck? I think I'm your uncle. Your, well, your name's Chuck Flynn, right? Yeah. What's your Twistogram handle? Why do you want to know that? Well, you're up with the times. <laughs> it's a Fly Girl 1985. Yeah, I'm your uncle. What? You're my uncle? Yeah. And if you like it, you can come stay with me. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's make it happen. All right, I'm really looking forward to it. I wonder what he's gonna be like. Maybe he'll want to go out to brunch. Or maybe we'll have Christmas in Dallas. I could fly my mom out. I have to find out what he likes so I don't get him the wrong gift. I wonder if he's gluten free. I hoped you were on this flight. I hoped that you were on this flight. <laughs> Dally reunion. Margaritas. Chips. Hey, so, boy talk. Honestly, I wish I could, but apparently I have an uncle in Texas, which is why I'm going to Dallas. Who knew? Uncle or Big Daddy? Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, you? Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you. Hi, hon. Um, here's some wings. You were so good. There's um, a person who's at the front when you get out. She looks exactly like me and she'll take you to your parents, okay? okay thank right. you. Have a good one. Thank Bye, thanks. Thank Bye, have a good day. Yes. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, yes, the 
got him. Who? The Twitstagram killer. Oh, jeez. Man targeted victims who overshare their activities on social media. Ugh. I always wondered about that, you know? So like people knowing so much about you. It's a weakness. I mean, look at him, though. What an idiot. He took a selfie with him and his victim. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so graphic. I can't believe they put that on the front cover. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. He's so young. And he looks nice, too. Yeah, those are the ones that are real creeps. <gasps> Chuck Flynn! That's, this is, this is the guy, that's the name of the guy I was gonna go see. Oh. Did I almost just die? Oh my god. I told you he was gonna be a creep. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so gross. Oh my gosh. Oh, burn it! Burn it, yeah. Get it out of here. I don't oh want to touch God. it. Let's just... You know what? We got a drink to forget. We do got a drink to yeah. forget. Ah. Oh. We are getting in wasted. Yeah, we are. It's better than getting chopped up into little pieces. Yes. No, seriously. I can't believe I was going to spend the night at someone's house who has murdered people before. I know. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Cool. That's fun. I can't believe it, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, so how many more of these Chuck Flynn's you got to check out? I have one more on my list, and it's in Topanga, California. Yeah, no. I don't think you should do it. Really? Yeah, no. I mean, I know I almost died from the last one. Yeah, you one, almost but... died. No big deal. Like, come on. I don't know. I guess it's like, if I don't do it, then I feel like some part of the back of my head's going to be like, well, was that last one the one, you know? I mean, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I don't think you should do it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Or if you're gonna go, at least bring a buddy with you, you know? Yeah, about that. Um, I haven't really heard from Jake since we fought, so... Um, I think I kind of screwed that one up. Well, why don't you just call him? Well, what if he doesn't pick up? You leave a message. It's a good idea. Yeah. I'm full of them. I'm not saying we could ever catch up or that you want to. But if you can believe it, it hurts me too. Leaving people in my life. Don't know why, but I'm helpless to it. That I know for sure. I'm trying to fix it. Just got a bad habit of walking away and regretting it later. Not just with you, although miss it out on your own kid, that cuts the worst. Maybe uh, I got a chance to make things right. And uh, I guess what I'm really saying is uh, I want to come see you. I just want to let you know that I'm going to Topanga um, to see the last um, uncle on my list, and I know you asked me about it, so I wanted to let you know. I'm, go I'm going to Topanga, and I just I wanted to let you know that it's the last uncle on my search. I know you asked me about that, and I just want to let you know that I'll be out there, and it's going really well. Things are going really, really well, so, yeah. 
I really, really well. I, I mean that things are gonna look a little shitty for me right now. And um, I probably don't care. And I, um, I probably deserve it, so. Yeah. out here I can describe you I see ocean all the way to my left and it's just one of the most beautiful places I've ever been look Lorna I just want you to remember about the rumor I told you about yeah mom it was a rumor it was a very specific rumor about a really dangerous guy okay just because somebody has problems doesn't mean they aren't family what are you just gonna cut somebody off it's so screwed up that I'm telling you this hey. is a crackhead who tried to burn your grandmother's house down and now he lives in the woods? I mean, if I still had the power to forbid you from going there, I would. But maybe I can help him. I just want to know what he remembers about dad. <sighs> Mom, I can't talk about this right now, okay? I'm going. I'm going. Bye. Topanga, I was hoping I could stop by and talk to Chuck. It'll only take a minute. I wish I could, but I'm just in town for the day and then I have to head back to work. Hello? Hello? Hi, sorry about before. I guess the phone cut me off. Oh, that's fine. Here's Chuck Flynn's mail. Yes, yeah, thank you. Do you know if he is going to be around? Oh, he's not around. Do you know when he may be back? He he's not going to come back. Chuck Flynn's dead, honey. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is there a problem? No, I've just... 
No, no, don't worry about me. It's fine. I'm just, well, you, but my name is Lorna Flynn. Chuck Flynn is my uncle. I've been trying to find him. And this is the last place. So. All right, honey. Come on. I'm come sorry. On no, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 it's come okay. On I shouldn't. Come I shouldn't bother. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just take a seat. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, this place is a mess. Um, how about I make us some tea? Well, that's really nice of you. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, here. Do you need any help? Oh, no, I'm fine, thank you. Let's see here. You know, there's only one good place around here for a proper cup of tea. Can you guess where it is? Oh, um... The, the table outside? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Why don't you go out there and take a seat and uh, I'll bring the tea out. Okay, okay. Okay. So, your Uncle Chuck. Tell me everything you know about your Uncle Chuck. Thank you. Um, actually, I don't really know much. Mm. Um, I heard a rumor that he was a crackhead and that he burned my grandmother's house down for drug money. Well, you can't believe everything you hear. Sometimes you can't believe that stuff, and those people aren't here to defend themselves. So. Exactly, I totally agree. Go on. Well, actually, that's it. Um, I guess I was just trying to find out more about my dad, you know? which is sort of why I guess I got obsessed yeah. trying to find him. I could see why you'd want to do that. Yeah. Well, anyways, I feel like I've overstayed my welcome and definitely have overshared. Um, thank you so much for the tea. It's very lovely. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. Sit back down. Oh. You know, your Uncle Chuck may not be as dead as you might believe. Oh my God. Sorry to say, I'm your uncle, as well as your aunt. <laughs> I have so many questions. I'm sure you must. Like, why, why did you never try to visit us? Well, I don't, and that's actually not true that I never did. There was one time I did about 20 years ago. You were tiny. And I was not in my best as an addict. Been clean for 20 years, but not then. And I came to see Roger at a stupid horse race. And I needed money, and he just wouldn't give me the time of day. He still couldn't get over it. He, he couldn't get over the... The fact that you he couldn't get over that you were an addict, or? No, 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 no. He couldn't get over something very, very long ago. I can't believe you haven't heard about this. Two words, jelly donut. Jelly donut? There was one time, me and your father, we were going to get jelly donuts because Roger loved jelly donuts. So we go to Wechdell's, which was his favorite place, I'm six years old, mind you. I start scraping the powder off the top of it, powdering my face with it in the mirror. And I take the jelly out of it, and I start making some lipstick all over myself. I thought it was hilarious. And the whole walk home, Roger was dead silent. He was never dead silent. Later that night, poof, he's gone. Left forever. Wait, so you think that Wait, so the two of you don't talk? The two of you didn't talk because you played with your food? No, not exactly. No, no, no. It's what I did with that food at that age. I like it just enraged him and he just took off. So stupid. <laughs> Thank you for the tea. Yeah. L Lorna, come back here. Lorna! Lorna, come back. Watch it, these lips are slippery. Lorna, 
to go running. Uh, oh. oh, are you okay? Yeah. You hurt yourself. I'm fine. You broke your sunglasses. <sighs> Who cares? Let me get something to help you. Oh. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah. Did you change? We're gonna have to get you to a hospital. Yeah. Here, let me get you. Just stay right there. Okay. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oof. You're strong. Oh. oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Hey. Let's take a look at this, huh? Okay. That's a foot. <laughs> All right. Great. Do you want the good news or the bad news first? Um, the good news, please. I've had a lot of bad news recently. Can't imagine that. Okay, well, the good news is it's not broken. Ugh. Yeah, it's just a bad sprain. You're just gonna have to stay off it till it heals, which is sort of the bad news because with a bad sprain like this, it can take a little while, you know, sometimes even longer than a break. <sighs> How am I gonna work? Well, I guess you're not gonna be able to work till you heal up properly. Listen, you know what? It shouldn't take that long. I mean, you're pretty. I mean, you're, you're pretty young. So why don't you uh, go ahead and uh, take it as a break? I mean, not, not a break as in a break of your bone. I'm just <laughs> take a little vacation, right? Everyone needs a break. Yeah. You know? I just winked at you. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I did it again. See? <laughs> can't tell. Like. Uh, hello? It's, uh... It's my aunt. Um, she brought me here. Oh, really? Okay. Listen, I'm gonna get a nurse, okay? And she'll bring a bandage and show you how to put it on. And I'm sorry this happened on your vacation, Ms. Uh, Lorna. Okay. Ms. Flynn. That staircase is so slippery. I don't use it normally because it's so dangerous. I'm sorry I made you run away. I know I'm not what you expected. It's not that. He left you too. And I left. I wanted to hug you, but I left. Maybe it's in our genes or something, you know? To leave when you want to stay. I really should have tried to visit more. It doesn't matter. Even if you had tried to visit, I would have found out at some point my dad was a loser. I'm Nurse Rabinovitz, and can I take care of this for you? Yes, please. Okay, great. Good, sorry. Do it in a oh, good. This hurts a little. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> Try it very much anymore. Okay. You don't get out of the house much? No, I don't have much need to. I can be pretty self contained up there. Yeah. I appreciate that you're driving me to the hospital. Thank you. I couldn't just leave you, could I? I think I'll be okay. No, 
I never found out why my dad kept running away from the people that loved him the most. But instead of feeling angry towards him, I felt sad. He was alone when he died in a car that was parked outside a casino in Atlantic City. I wish he would have gotten over whatever it was that kept him away. But I know I don't want that to be me. I want to be with those who want to be with me. Sunsets high across the sky And sings the sea its lullaby Another dawn is coming on you left with just the sand you're on Tomorrow's tired will open wide And lower your blistering skin inside You come to know the ebb and flow The way behind the undertow Don't lock your legs, stop bracing Yeah, you have to tell me all about your trip. Well, I got these. Really? Yeah. Wow, those are pretty. <laughs> I wore them on the plane. You did? Yeah. <laughs> they let you through security with those. I know. I got some compliments, though. I bet you did. Nice glasses. OK, now that's your look. This is good. Yeah. yeah, that's really, really good. This is me. Very chic. <laughs> well, it's good to be here. I think I'm going to be here for a while now. That's fine, honey, whatever you need. Thanks, Mom. You got it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm glad you picked up. Yeah, I tried to hit ignore, but my thumb slipped. Can you come over? I guess so. Are you sure that you want me to? Yes. Oh, no. What are you looking at? You look like doo-doo. These crutches are ridiculous. Are you okay? Yeah, All right. I'm fine. I'm I may fine. have thrown your keys into the river on purpose. Okay, okay. I didn't actually do that. They're in the bathroom. I oh. wanted you to find them. Okay. Um, all right, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. It's good to see you. Good to I'm see very you happy too. that you're on board. I'm glad you're leaving. All right. But can you guess what I'm doing right now? Doing or thinking? No, doing. You can't look at me, though. You making gang signs? Did you feel that? I felt it in my head, but not in the rest of my body. <laughs> so I guess you're sleeping over, huh? I guess I can't move you. I mean, you can try. I weigh hundreds of pounds. And you've got a damaged hoof. I know. Poor foot. Yeah. It's already feeling better, though. So am I.
Just get pulled out the 